Welcome to Jamaica. We are in Jamaica right now. Got a crystal clear beach behind me and we're about to get in the water and look for some Bahamian Viagra. At least I'm told the little critters we're about to try and catch right off these rocks here. They will put the steel in the, it'll put the lead in the, you know what I'm trying to say. It'll put the lead in the, I gotta give a big shout out to David with Lock and Load Offshore Adventures for setting this trip up for me. We got the other David from Seashore Jewelry over there getting his snorkeling gear on. I'm about to gear up and then we're gonna swim out. I got my mask that I'm about to strap on my face. That way you can see everything that I see. Got my fins. David's gonna be joining us too. We're about to take a little swim out there. You think we're going to catch something? I think we're going to find some Willixes at least, hopefully. A Willix. Alright, here we go. That was a big lightning. All right, what's going on? Your gloves floating away. I got a sea urchin in your finger. Sea urchin in your finger. Oh shit! A little uh, souvenir. How bad are those black ones? Did they really fuck you up? No, my friend uh, stepped on one and got like 30 of them in the, her foot. Yeah, they're not like poisonous. It just sucks to get them out. On a bright note, I got a, uh, I got more. I mean, there it looks like there's something black in there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The longer your fingers in the water, the prettier it'll get, which should help push it out. Hell yeah!
What's up? Nice to meet you. Yeah, man, uh, to you. Yeah. All right, man. Yeah, man. Brunel. Brunel. Yeah. Brunel. I'm Heiko. Yeah, man, nice. I'm Dave. Dave. Heiko. Dave. Looks like the name of our boat is the Likely Hookah, and hopefully we'll be hooking into some big, fat, juicy, succulent little crabs. anchored up there's reef all around us I'm gonna put the GoPro in my mask and we're both gonna hop in together Spicy. <laughs> Sun shines back out. This time we're gonna walk over to a beach and swim out and try to pull spear something off of there. You ready to rock? Ready to rock and roll. Let's go get some lionfish. Yes, sir.
We managed to get on some lionfish and we got a couple of those snails. They're called willocks and we're going to be cooking those up here in a second. We got David starting to light up some charcoal out there, I think, and let's cook up some lionfish. We got the fire getting hot and smoking and we're gonna cook up some willocks. Is that right. what they're called? Yes, willocks. Welks. But we call them down here willocks, right? So it's basically like a snail but it has a texture of conch. It's delicious. How we're gonna do it though, we're gonna scald them first for about five to 10 minutes in some hot water. And when we're finished, we're gonna take them out and we're gonna cut them up, clean them up. And then we're gonna put them in some foil with some garlic and different herbs and seasoning and some cabbage and wrap them up. And they're gonna go on the grill for about 20 minutes after that. And it's gonna be delicious, guys. You wanna see the Willoxes? Yeah, I wanna see the bag of them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, yeah? He's trying to climb through the bag. Nice try. So we are gonna be cutting up some onions. You guys call this green onions. Green right? onions. We call it skellion in Jamaica. Some carrots. You wanna cut them with a little bit of body because guess what? They're gonna go on that fire and they're gonna just render right down. This over here is for the willocks. We're gonna wrap it up in the foil. This over here, what we're doing is we're threading the carrots. The reason why is that we're going to make an escovite sauce and put over the lionfish. All right, guys, so this, these here and the scotch bonnet, the habanero is going to soak up with the onions, all of the vinegar flavor. So I'm going to put it on top of the, the lionfish and it's going to be crazy, guys. So, guys, this is a special way how you cut the onions for escovite. Reason being, is what you're finished, you're deering them out like this. And this is gonna lie on top of the fish with the vinegar. Okay, guys? Heiko is bringing something on the table. Wait, so you guys went and hunted it and we're cooking it, right? So the habanero, scotch bonnet pepper. A lot of you guys, when you guys cut it and you just use the skin like this, it has good flavor. But where the heat comes from, guys, is right here in the seeds. This is where all of the heat from the habanero is. This is flavor, some heat, but this is where it really happens right here, guys. So, whenever you want some hot, hot stuff, just put everything in there like what I'm doing right now. All of that's going in there. Like we always do. Holy smoke. Okay. Want a pan? Where we get the pan there? <coughs> See this cycle? This is what you want. Because the bottom part, that green stuff, yeah. this thing, you don't want this. Okay, you don't eat that? No, sorry. So this part, you leave in there, good to go. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so this is what you remove this is his guts and everything so you're gonna peel this off like this okay okay what was that that you just cut off his stomach okay and then this part here is what he used to suck onto the rocks so you're gonna cut that off right behind here 
Hey, that? And you're good to go. And then afterwards, no, we split it, cut it, and then season it. That's how we're gonna do it. All right, guys? This is like a piece of kong. See it? You wanna try it? <laughs> Your conch here almost tastes like lobster. That's right, Dave. Really? It tastes it tastes like lobster. Yes, kinda. it does. Or like a clam. Yeah. It does kind of have a lobster flavor. Lobster clammy kind of taste. The right? consistency is different than yes. lobster. Right. So when yeah. we take this, one, we're gonna season this up now with the garlic and the butter. Wrap it up with the cabbage. Put it back on the grill for about 20 minutes. Take it off, bro. You don't want anything else. Trust me, guys. Stay tuned. You going yeah. for the little lane? Right, it's about the right side of the spot, right? Yeah. But I mean, you practice. You don't know how. Your money will you hope. Mr. George. How would you think? <laughs> <laughs> you never watch that meme yet. You never watch it. Eh? What you putting on the lionfish right now? It's a special seasoning, but it is a lock and load seasoning right here. Coming Smell it. Soon. I can give you this much. We have lemon, grass in there, ginger, garlic, and stuff like that, right? So, that's cool. This is the roll at the Yeah. So, landfish going down. Gotta, got the oil super hot here. <laughs> Few minutes on each side. And then we're good to go. It's a fun little barbecue going on out here today. So you see it? This is a little package of love right here. So this is gonna go on the grill for about 15 minutes and then it's gonna cook, everything is gonna fall in love. All the flavors are gonna come together. It's gonna be crazy. Let's have a shot of this, beauty. Okay. I'm small bit. The love package. The love package. Entering the battlefield. The love pouches have been on the grill for 15 minutes while we've been enjoying a red stripe. So this is ready. Heiko? Yes. Here you go, sir. Willix. 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 Yeah. Get it with that vegetable, with those juice, right? Mm, that's right, bro. There this is go. gonna be good. <laughs> Make it cool, bro. Flow on it. Oh, yeah. It tastes like before, but a lot more flavor. I'm ready to finish my love pouch. Willix going down. That's right. It's good. Reminds me a lot of conch. Mm hmm. It's got that garlic. A little different than Kong, mm -hmm. but it's tasty. Tasty. I like it. Once it's, once it's because of the fire went out. So this is the Escovite sauce. It's vinegar, peppers, onion, carrot. Bring it up to a boil, soften the carrot and the onion. And is there... Sauce it with the, sauce the fish with it. 
Is there any water in there or is that no, all it's, vinegar? It's white vinegar. That's all vinegar? Yeah. Wow, there's okay. Dried like I already fish. ended the vlog in. Oh. This is the Escovit sauce. I can drip on you. So the Escovis land fish is ready, and we have Heiko here. He's gonna try it, and he's gonna tell me what he thinks. All right, guys. Oh boy. Fried lionfish. This is my first time having lionfish fried. Let's take off a little piece of the meat and get a little onion and a little piece of carrot on there. There we go. I got a good amount of onion on there. Yeah. That tastes like something that I can't figure out what it is. That's really good. That's like crispy chip with a vinegar. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like the salt and vinegar chips. That's right. With more protein. That's right. I think it's your turn, Dave. Yep, going down. Going down the hatch. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's not like it's not like most fish that I've had. I love the vinegar. It's really good though. KFC kind of came to mind a little bit. <laughs> that's, to be honest with I you. think that's maybe what came to my mind. There is a like little Like that, KFC that fried there. like crunch to yeah. it, but I like it. Food. Those were two crazy recipes that I have never tried before and I thoroughly enjoyed them. And I hope that you guys at home watching this also try those recipes. And you might not be able to find Willicks or Welks, the snails, but you can make that same cabbage love pouch and put fish in it or shrimp, probably lobster. In the Escovich, if I'm saying that right, if you like like a fried crispy fish with like a very vinegary pop to it, damn. These are two recipes that I'll definitely be doing again on this channel. I've been learning so much about cooking while I was in Jamaica. A bunch of things that I want to come and apply to my own cooking. By the way, I'm back in Florida. Hurricane Ian just hit us last night. Uh, I didn't take too much damage, mainly just some chairs falling over and some tree branches flying around the backyard. Y'all might be wondering, did the Jamaican Viagra, which is the Welks, Supposedly they're like an aphrodisiac. Did it do anything? I was extremely tired. It was late at night and we had to wake up early to go on a deep sea fishing trip where we take a boat out. That's actually the next video. Um, hopefully I can post that tomorrow or the next day. I'm really gonna try to start cranking out videos here. But I never really had a chance to even think about if it was working or not. But I will say this, I slept really good that night and I had some crazy dreams. Like to the point where I woke up and I was like, damn it. I hope you guys like this episode. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, please. Remember you can always help this channel out by going to SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. We sell fishing rigs, we sell some merch, we got stickers, seasonings, and I'm always trying to throw cool new stuff on there. If you got any ideas, leave a comment below. You guys must be a little upset because my boat is sitting right there. My boat's been out of the water since a week or two before my Iceland trip. It's been almost two months since I've put my boat back in the water. And as soon as this wind stops, I'm putting her in the water and we're gonna do some solo fishing trips. I know that's what you guys wanna see. So until the very next video, cheers.